Does it matter which side? No, I don't think so. This is new. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I meant the presser. <laughs> yeah, we did it. We're two from four, aren't we? Go easy. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, awesome. Just good to be back out there. Good, like. All things aside, just to start off round one with a pretty gritty win like that on a tough day um, with some challenges throughout our pre-season to come away with a win against North, who we knew were going to be quality opposition. Perfect start. How tough were those conditions out there? I think it was one point, one behind you today. Yeah. Pretty much. Yeah, tough. Um, yeah, we love Casey. It throws up some, <laughs> some challenges, so we prepare for most things. Um, but win's always a factor, so we had a bit of a plan with how to how to um, use it and defend it when it was coming in against us. But um, yeah, all in all, it's tough. I mean, women's footy when it's that windy and <laughs> blowing the ball back over your head, like we don't quite have the penetration on our kick, so it makes it makes it even more challenging. I think that's what made it exciting when we went end to end and kicked a few few goals. We saw snippets of what we hope to produce more often throughout the year. Yeah, Mick, what was your thoughts in the first quarter? The tackling pressure was great, the Canadians and and the, the double 50, what were your thoughts going through your mind? That's yeah, nobody likes a double 50. It's, um, no, I, I probably underestimated how tough the conditions were. Uh, like at quarter time, North obviously had, they were stronger around the ball and hurt us at clearance and had the ball in their forward half a lot. But um, yeah, it was definitely the scoring in. It was good to see the girls get themselves back into the game. But um, as Dave said, they, they just kept improving every quarter and that was the best thing about today. Like It was a, it was a good, tough battle. But um, yeah, I just really liked the way our girls just thought their way through it and were able to stand up late because, yeah, it definitely could have gone either way. How did you see Eden's ankles? At one point, it looked like she'd uh, seriously hurt her arm, she was back on the field. Yeah, yeah, and she's, um, you know, only 20 years of age and we're asking her to play in the ruck in a key forward position at the same time and she's got so, so much stronger in the last 12 months um, and just to composure under pressure to get that goal late and then her ability to yeah to pick herself up and keep competing uh yeah she's certainly one to keep watching um we're re yeah, really proud of her what was the problem with the arm yeah. like, were you, it looked serious as you come out it was almost flopping and then a couple of minutes later she's back on and you know, I, think I was sitting next to her on the bench she was just winded i think when she's a bit fatigued her running style went a bit <laughs> different <laughs> but no no concern with the arm i think she was just winded yeah, there's no, no, yeah, I mean, it's a good old-fashioned stinger, but uh, she'll be right to go. There was something Yeah, I think she had two. There was two, two incidences where she sort of just got, got knocked around a bit, but um, she picked herself up and so that, yeah, no, no concerns there. Yeah. Yeah, I think the conditions, like, she was hard to move the ball by foot. Um, and you don't really want to play the game up and down, but, yeah, the girls are able to use their numbers quite well around the ball. And, yeah, we didn't see that until late in the first quarter. Um, I think we transitioned the ball from half back into the breeze and that sort of gave us a little bit of an insight as to what's going to be the key for the day. So, yeah, I think the conditions just demanded that today. Mick, the way you finished the game, um, I think in previous seasons you've come back into games but not been able to close them out. Is that a maturity thing? Is it just being in this position before? Like, what... How impressive was that last quarter to get over the top of them? Yeah, I think that's something that we've been working on as a group. I and mean, it's probably into our fourth season now, but we want to outlast teams and be, you know, stronger late. Um, and it's one thing to talk about it, but that was a pleasing sign. Well, they were only in round one, but I was pleased to see the girls just keep doing the little things well, even right until the final seconds. So, yeah, that, and that was a key part of the result. I think the team that can sort of just keep doing those little things well late often gets rewarded. And, yeah, we haven't done that in the past, so that's exciting for us, you know, the start of this season. Um, oh, we just keep shuffling like in terms of matchups. Um, wasn't necessarily my opponent, but um, yeah, it's it's exciting. Like I've had a lot to learn, learning a new position. I think that's one of the things I've enjoyed most about the preparation, and am looking forward to this season is the challenge of learning a new position. Um, we were under pressure early, but just proud of the way that. We stuck to what we'd trained and um, stayed in the game and adjusted things when we needed to and got ourselves back in. Um, yeah, I, I kind of haven't thought about my own game. It's more just about how we're going as a, as a system down there. Um, 
I hope Mick t tells me I was standing in the right spot more times than not, and if that's the case, I'll be happy with my game. Uh, yeah, well, it's something. Oh, she's a great stoppage player, and obviously has got a lot of runs on the board through the midfield. So it's something we can we can look at. But we're quite happy with the depth that we've got through there. And um, like North put us under the pump considerably today, um, down back, and for the girls to be able to stand up and uh, hold up under pressure down there, uh, particularly the third quarter, um, it was relentless. So I think if we're standing up like that, and Daisy's part of that defence, we're probably going to run with that and and back our mids in to keep improving and. Um, yeah, we, we look forward to Loz and Lil returning in a couple of weeks' time, and that'll sort of bolster our mids as well. Dave, did you notice anything different about expanding about the style of play? You know, the full year out, did you notice anything new or different out there? Um, certainly, a change in the amount of like chatter about structure and positioning and all that thing going on. I, I think more understanding on both both teams um, and awareness of game style and I just put that down to more time and more access to the resources that we've got now to learn the game um, but yeah that was probably the biggest thing um, a lot more talk and a lot more awareness and chatter about where everyone should be standing that's probably the biggest change I noticed in terms of the skills a day like today makes it hard to really showcase those but um, yeah I'm sure as the season goes on we'll start to see that. Nick, how is that injury Yeah, I think next week at least, like Neve McAvoy, who was crook last week, she'll become available for selection. Um, and then I think uh, Loz and Lil, sort of round three or round four, depending on how they're tracking. So um, I think from, I haven't had a full medical report from today, but I think we're relatively healthy from today, so that's a win. <laughs> um, but yeah, I think a strength of our, our list is, was our depth. It probably didn't expect to have to use it so early, but. Um, yeah, yeah, we're happy with the group we've got, and um, yeah, it was a good start for us today. Yeah, she's put so much work into her game in the last 12 months. She's, um, I think she got a lot of the ball last year, just didn't finish that well, and that's something that she's worked a lot on. Uh, yeah, so she was she was pivotal for us up forward, and, and she's someone as well that can go through the midfield. But yeah, she's a definite improver, and um, yeah, she'll continue to improve as well. Hanker sort of becomes the hero with the goal, but it was her that you know, in the middle. Um, tough, they really hard. Yeah, yeah. Like I, the forwards as a whole, their defensive pressure was quite good. Like they had limited opportunities early, but they were making something out of nothing with with a lot of tackle pressure. But um, yeah, no, I think it was just a, a good even effort across the board, and um, yeah, it was a tough physical game. And, and North, yeah, they're a quality side, and um, we were just pleased that we were able to to play well in those key moments late. Yeah, it's probably, well, from a coaching point of view, it gives the group a bit of belief and just takes a little bit of pressure off. Like, obviously, we've got to focus on next week now, but you're not sort of chasing a win and then you, that's not your focus. It sort of allows you just to keep focusing on improvement and without that pressure building up. Because, yeah, previously when we've lost, that, that pressure just continues to build. But, um, yeah, no, I think from a playing point of view. Yeah, probably exactly that, belief. Um, it was the things that we've really been working on for the last three months that won us the game today and there's a whole long line of things that we'll turn away and want to work on moving forward so the fact that those things got us over the line um, in the key moments of a really close game will make this group yeah our belief will go through the roof and then we'll go to work on the things that you know there'll be a hundred clips out of today that we could have done better um, but the things we've we've really honed in on got us through so um, yeah on to the next one with a lot of belief. Yeah, I think it'd be good to watch a bit, little bit of unknown with the Bulldogs, um, with Berkey taking over, and we get the opportunity to watch them tomorrow, which you know, is a good position for us. And. Uh, make sure we're recovering and ready for a, a quick turnaround on Friday night. But yeah, we'll, we'll wait and see what the what conditions we we get delivered. We've we've had challenging conditions out at Witten Oval before, but um, no, I think similar. You'll see a, a, a strong physical team that will continue to stay in the game from start to finish. And um, obviously, we, if the opportunity presents, we'd we'd like to score more than today. But you are dependent on the conditions sometimes. But um, 
yeah, no, yeah, looking forward to that challenge and, and fully respect them as a team. They've got some good core players and they've got a lot of young talent now. So, um, yeah, we'll have to be ready for them. No worries. Thank you.